right now it's getting worse and I can't sleep and freaking hell I was doing so well yesterday I thought I was going to be able to do cardio tomorrow morning I still don't want to do it I'm not sure if I can hey guys how's it going uh, it's currently like 9 30 p.m. Tuesday 21st June uh, I need to sleep right now I have a long day tomorrow so the thing is I am gonna be vaccinated you know getting my first dose tomorrow at 11 at 12 p.m. I have meetings from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. so by 11 a.m. I need to be out of the house and after being vaccinated, I won't be able to work out for a few days. So tomorrow morning at freaking 4 to 6 a.m. I'm gonna get that legs workout in. Dedication. Of course, this is not my you know, usual schedule. I don't wake up at 3 a.m. every day to work out. That is ridiculous. But yeah, I just wanna... I just thought I might just do a vlog of how everything is gonna be like, including the vaccination process. And yeah, we'll see how it goes and good night now. Bye bye. Hello guys. So it is the next morning. It's freaking 4 a.m. I hope this zooms well. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yep. 23rd of June, 4 a.m. Wednesday. Uh, 4 a.m. Malaysian time. Uh, and most of my audience is Malaysian anyway. <laughs> And it seems like I'm not the only one up because my dad is up as well watching freaking football. And like, I thought the football tournament was already over. Sorry football fans, I don't watch football. But yeah, I am gonna get some pre-workout in. And then get the intro workout ready. And get started. I'm gonna train legs today. I, yeah, my coach said not to go too hard because, uh, I'm brain dead, I'm sorry. I guess it's too early in the morning. So I bought these from my coach. I got the Total War Pre-Workout Watermelon Flavor. It tastes really weird. I always thought pre-workout tasted good because I know um, on YouTube you would see people dry scooping pre-workouts like, you know, getting the powder and then drinking water and then <laughs> and then I tasted this, I was like, I'm not dry scooping freaking pre-workout, at least at this stage of my um, fitness career. Did I mention it's watermelon flavor? I did, right? Yeah, this is watermelon flavor. So I take a whole scoop. <coughs> Powder right inside my nose. So the thing I want to talk about actually is work ethic. <coughs> I always preach that I, I would like to push myself. I want to have the best work ethic that I can have. If my schedule dictates that I'm waking up at 4 a.m. to work out, do whatever, I'm waking up at 4 a.m. to do whatever. 3.45 actually. <laughs> and yeah, on some days you have that meeting at like 2 a.m. I wake up then. It's really important that we develop a I guess, responsible mindset and that we do not find excuses for ourselves. Of course, to the best of our own capacity. So, yeah. Pre workout. Is it Zoom? I don't know, yeah. Pre workout. Gonna give me the pump for freaking leg day. Um, yesterday I trained back and biceps, the day before I trained chest and delts, so my upper body are basically pretty dead. Like no joke, freaking, I was trying to like brush my teeth just now, I was like oh, Quack. the whole part of my shoulder, my delts, my chest, my back, how like soaring, oh, crazy. Oh, I'm not sure if it's because it's the morning, it actually tastes good. I don't know why, could be just me. But yesterday before the back and bikes workout, I actually thought it tasted really bad. 
But it was my second time tasting it yesterday anyway. Okay. So now that the pre is in, I'm gonna get the intro in. Intro workout. I bought this from a book as well, Vitar Girl Loader. This one. So the first time I tasted this, it was bad because I put too much water in. So yesterday, I put less water in. But actually tasting not bad, like, uh, I don't think they gave us a scoop for this. So I gotta measure it myself. Or maybe a scoop is all the way down there that I can't find it. So, I will measure it with the measuring scale. And also, literally, when I got this camera stand into the kitchen, I was spending freaking five minutes trying to adjust it. And I was like, why couldn't I adjust it? And I realized I was doing it the wrong way all the while. And I'm lucky it, it took me only five minutes to find it. Because given my poor tech skills, I usually would have taken a much longer time. <laughs> so, yeah. Intro is in. Which means I'm gonna get the warm up in. Which means I'll see you somewhere else. I gotta do another warm up because I am not awake enough from the bike. I'm gonna do some skipping and then I gotta do, yeah, and then I have to get started. So, just a hundred reps of double skips. And yeah, I'll be back in a while. <laughs>
Okay guys, uh, I just finished running the participants, had breakfast, showered, and I was gonna style my hair, but then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna sweat, it's all gonna be sticky and yucky, so I'd rather be called a sloppy person when my hair becomes like this, than to feel uncomfortable, because I don't care about what people think. I guess I do, but not in this context, because I think the most important thing for me right now all the time actually is to feel comfortable so just yep yeah, I have about half an hour to spare before I gotta leave home so I might just like I don't know eat some popcorn watch some YouTube and yeah and then I will hit out so I will see you there <laughs> I was about to do the, I don't know, the camera thing, but I'm not sure how I should do it, so... Okay, I literally recorded and then I realized I forgot to press record. What a smart ass. Okay, turns out, other than hating sweaty and sticky feelings, I also hate it when uh, my hair dangles around my forehead and pierces my eyes. So I decided to wear my hairband. And yeah, let's go. All right, guys. I got my first dose in. Woohoo, woohoo! It's here. Uh, boom. And I, I wanted to vlog when I was inside, but I couldn't because everything was really fast, which is a good thing, you know. You walk in, you queue, you register, you fill in some forms, and then you go to the consultation area, and then vaccination area, and then observation area, and then. And then you're done. I'm like, yeah. And I didn't want to stay in there for too long because it was pretty crowded. And I don't feel any symptoms or side effects just yet, other than the fact that my left arm is feeling a little bit like numb and heavy. I think that's pretty normal. But yeah, get vaccinated or not, it's your choice. I personally would advise you to get vaccinated for the good of yourself and the ones around you. Uh, and yeah, I'm feeling sleepy because as you know, I woke up at like 3.45 to work out and oh, I got a tutor in like one and a half hours. So I'm gonna go back, uh, eat lunch, sleep for a while maybe, tutor, record a podcast tonight. And yeah, that is the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Instagram. Um, Kian Tan underscore. A chatty cat on TikTok. Uh, blooping up some... I don't want to say blooping up two videos because people are going to say I copied Coach Greg set. So I'm going to say two videos are going to pop out right now. Watch one of them, watch both of them. They're going to be helpful. Until next time, I am out. What's going on, guys? It's like 1.44 a.m. now. And I thought that was going to be the end of the vlog because I thought I was going to be okay and I did feel okay uh, when I got back I cheated and then I took a nap and then I went for a walk like super slow 98 year old grandma Josephine type of walk and then I recorded a podcast and chatted with the guest um, off the recording for like two hours so the entire process took almost three hours I thought I was feeling great and I was going to bed naked like always yes I sleep naked and then freaking hell like I don't know starting from when but I was feeling cold as f man f cold uh, and look at that one look at like Look at what I'm wearing now. I'm wearing the freaking UVC hoodie, which is freaking thick for Malaysian weather. And I'm wearing freaking winter pants. <laughs> and freaking Christmas socks that I got from my friend. And these are freaking thick, man. The socks are like freaking winter socks that I got from Secret Santa from first year. It's from the house council. It's from my friend, and I know she would not mind me saying her name. It's from Tino, and I never wore it because I came back shortly, like three months, three months after Christmas, to Malaysia. And then just yeah, it's it's just Malaysia is just not the place for freaking winter socks. Like even regular socks are 
uh, thick enough to provide heat because Malaysian weather is just you know, summer 24-7. Anyway, and these pants are freaking double layered pants. It's what I wore when I flew from Canada back home to Malaysia during COVID. Last year in March. Anyway, the idea is that I'm so fucking cold now. Like, yeah, I do feel a bit of headache. Um, my body sores, but all these are nothing compared to the cold I'm feeling because, um, like, as a person, I am scared of the cold right now. It's getting worse. And I can't sleep. And freaking hell, I was doing so well yesterday. I thought I was going to be able to do cardio tomorrow morning. I still don't want to do it. I'm not sure if I can. I have two participants back to back to run from like 8 to 10 p.m. I mean, 8 to 10 a.m. So, in like six hours ish from now. No, seven hours ish, six hours ish, six hours ish. Yeah. Uh, I can't even. I don't know. Anyway, so I've got participants to run at eight and it's 1.45 now, but anyway, I'm so cold. Freaking cold. Don't know why. I update you guys on my condition later in the day. But right now, I'm just gonna sleep here because I sleep with my cousin and brother. They have the AC on. And even though it's like on the lowest. No, it's not the lowest temperature, it's like the highest possible temperature for coldness. But I'm still feeling freaking cold. Shivering like So I went to bed naked and I had to like scramble on the floor <laughs> to find freaking winter clothes to wear. <laughs> freaking hell. <sighs> I don't know. Like, it's so cold, I don't even feel tired anymore. Like, I look tired, I think I look tired. Like, Freaking hell, my dark eyes are just at another level today. But I'm so cold. I'm feeling so cold. But am I supposed to feel like this? I guess so. Because it did promise side effects, right? But yeah, I, I will see you guys later. Hey guys, it's uh, Thursday today, 8 29 pm. So one day after or maybe one and a half days after the vaccine or after vaccination I feel like crap now I was feeling pretty okay in the afternoon and then I was abusing myself with some lab work and um, I had to judge a small type of presentation contest for my high school and then I had a small mini meeting with the editor and then I was supposed to record an episode of chat with Kian the upcoming podcast at like 3 30 but after the meeting with the editor it was like 2 40 and I crashed I like could not function anymore so it came up to my room and I slept and like I know I just woke up at like 6 40 or like 5 40 I think Feeling okay, but I was like very sleepy. So I wasn't having any aches, but I was feeling uh, very sleepy. So I decided to sleep for another one hour, had the alarm on because I wanted to go for a walk, but then I overslept. I don't know how, but I missed the alarm. I never miss alarms. Like the fact that I can wake up at freaking 3.45 a.m. and not at like 8 p.m. is just pretty absurd. I know. But anyway, feeling very, very tired now. I'm having a major headache, a back ache, and like all my limbs are like soaring like crazy. Like <laughs> having to hold my phone up like that is just like <laughs> killing my delts and bicep. And the thing is, I'm not having. Uh, oh my gosh. Like, even when I snore, my entire face hurts like crazy. I'm not exaggerating this, it really hurts. Uh, and I'm, I'm not having like any appetite to eat right now, but I think I have to because I gotta take in two tablets of Panadol. I've already taken in six because I've taken it three times, so two tablets every time. So uh, yesterday before the jab, I took two. Yesterday night after the jab, I took two. This morning after breakfast, I took two. And I gotta take another two more after 
dinner. So I need to get something, at least something in. I didn't cook dinner. I'm not sure what like, my family cooked for dinner. I think they they made like a white carrot soup. Might just drink that because I just want something warm in my body. And yeah, this is like one of those times where you feel extremely uncomfortable and you just don't know what to do. And I'm just so glad that I'm actually back home here because I cannot imagine if I was in Canada. And I'm not sure. I think it was Pfizer they're taking. I'm not sure if there are side effects for Pfizer, but but whatever it is, if they do have side effects, so and I'm like alone there, it'd be pretty damn difficult. Like uh, there are times in my first year at university when I was like sick. I was having gastric and uh, yeah, gastric twice actually, and I can't remember. Oh yeah, and I injured my Achilles. I couldn't walk, but I had to like get through it myself because I was all alone. If I was with family, though, things would be, things would have been much more easy, I guess. Um, I wouldn't say easy, it's just, it'd be better if I was with family. So, one thing that actually makes me wonder is whether or not UBC in classes, like things in UBC are going to be back in person. They keep saying they're planning to, they're planning to, but I'm not sure as well. I wouldn't dare to buy the flights as well, flight tickets, I mean, because what if I buy them? And at the end of the July, UBC decides to be like, oh, it's gonna be online. Don't know. It's really disappointing. Not UBC. Not UBC is, oh, well, I, I would say UBC is a little bit disappointing, but the entire thing is just disappointing with COVID going on. And this vaccine better be worth it because I'm suffering like hell now. Oops. And I'm skipping like two days of workout and like for what I'd be upset, every workout freaking counts. Especially in the beginning. Every workout counts. I wanna do the best I can in the realm of fitness, bodybuilding, men's physique, something like that. I wanna be the best I can be. And having to skip workouts is just not the way to go. Because right now I'm so freaking drained and exhausted that I can't even do some low intensity cardio. Anyway, I'm gonna get some dinner now and then I'll update you guys later. Also, I'm sorry that I haven't been updating you guys throughout the day. It's just hard to vlog when you're feeling this unwell and then you still have tons of things to work on. So I'm actually pretty happy that I could be free from work after 2.40 p.m. Anyway, I'll see you later. Hey guys, how's it going? So it's Saturday today. So uh, three days after vaccination, I feel much better now. I got back to exercising yesterday. Not super high intensity, pretty low intensity, and I think I'm feeling great. On the second day, I think it's only the second day after vaccination that I felt really crappy, but after, th after that, uh, I slept a lot, obviously, and I tried to keep myself less busy than usual. I rescheduled my things and made sure that I had adequate rest. And yeah, if I were to actually, I think, boil down the side effects in a list, it would be headache, head ache, head ache, body aches, you, you feel cold, I felt cold, uh, a little bit of fever, um, nausea, feelings of nausea, and yeah, that's about it. I think my tip, oh my gosh, my hands are getting a workout from holding this camera. <laughs> if I were to give a tip to... Uh, people who are about to be vaccinated, trying to keep this camera straight as well, it would be to exercise at a low intensity um, and make sure you get lots of water. Yeah, like every Asian parent would say, drink lots of water. But yeah, I think exercising definitely helped because yesterday, especially when I woke up, I actually felt like I still had a little bit of body aches and I felt really sleepy and groggy and things like that. And then I decided to bike for half an hour um, low intensity of course and after that it's not like I just magically felt completely okay but I felt much better I felt much more fresh much more refreshed and uh, much more ready to get my tasks done but of course I still kept myself free after like 3 p.m. by the time I was done with recording the podcast at like 3 oh no wait yesterday I actually was very busy yesterday after the podcast I tiered two classes yeah, things ended at 6.30 and then I stopped doing work at that point and I just um, got rest, watched a movie with my sister and her boyfriend, definitely, you know, was a light bulb there. Third reeling, right? Uh, 
But anyway, jokes aside, uh, yeah, get a lot of rest and make sure that you are well rested. <laughs> My articulation skills are down the drain at this point. And I heard from people that you actually have to vlog from above, so it's not good to vlog like that because you, you look like, you don't look good from below, right? And then when you vlog from the middle, people say that your face would appear to be huge. Not sure if I have a huge face. I don't mind having a huge face. So you, people say you want to vlog from here, above. Oh my gosh, when I actually hold this camera this way, my hand is not that sore. So my gosh, maybe it's just activating a different muscle when I'm, I guess, tilting up, I guess. <laughs> anyway, well, I definitely had more to say, but it's not coming to my mind right now. Yeah, uh, get yourself vaccinated. Yes, get yourself vaccinated. Um, if you're a Malaysian, keep checking my Sujetra. Uh, make sure you have an appointment and don't miss the appointment. Be safe. Uh, we're still having a lockdown now. Still MCO right now, so don't go out. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna make hot pot for my family today. The whole family, so big responsibility. It's not that I haven't made hot pot before, but I've actually made hot pot for my relatives before. Not my, not my like, you know, family. Not my close family. What's the term? Nuclear family? Nuclear family? Yeah. So I haven't made a uh, hot pot for my nuclear family before, but I make hot pot very often for myself. And I've made hot pot for my relatives before. It's like about this time last year, and they all enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I hope my family will enjoy it. It's pretty low calorie, at least lower than the regular freaking hot pot outside. Um, and uh, I actually like having hot pot at home because it feels like I'm having a buffet. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. And I think that's the end of the long ass vaccination vlog. I'm not sure if it's gonna be long. I hope it's good because I keep for I kept forgetting to vlog about my condition throughout the days. But yeah, uh, check out FNK Kong's app on uh, Shopee and Lazada for cool products, original prices. And am I gonna be out this time? Did I miss anything else? Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, remember to vlog from above, not below, or not from here. Yeah, haven't had a haircut because, as I mentioned, vlog down still. And yeah, until next time, I'm out.